A legal battle over the certification of Waynesboro's November 5th election results is set to unfold in court this Tuesday at 1 p.m. The hearing will determine whether thousands of ballots cast by local voters will officially count toward the outcome. This legal challenge began when the two Republican members of the Waynesboro, Virginia Electoral Board, Kurt Lilly and Scott Mayers, filed a suit on October 4th. They argue that the vote count's constitutionality is questionable and have publicly stated they will not vote to certify the election results unless ordered to do so by the court. The lawsuit has garnered significant attention as it could impact how local elections are conducted and upheld in Virginia. A group of five Waynesboro residents responded by filing a countersuit on October 22nd, seeking a court order that would require the electoral board to certify the vote results they hope for a ruling by the November 15th deadline, ensuring the voices of Waynesboro voters are recognised and respected. Without timely certification, they argue, the local election process could be derailed with critical races left in limbo. The stakes are high. Virginia Public Access Project reports show 4,327 early votes cast so far in Waynesboro, not far off from the numbers nine days before the 2020 presidential election, when 4,943 early votes had been cast. While 2020 saw exceptionally high early voting due to the COVID-19 pandemic, with early votes comprising 63.4% of total ballots cast in Waynesboro, turnout for the 2024 election appears to be on a similar track. In 2020, Waynesboro saw a record turnout of over 10,700 votes. If the trend continues, the city may surpass the 10,000 mark again this year. Adding complexity to the local political landscape, three seats on Waynesboro City Council are on the ballot this November, in Ward A, Ward B and the at-large seat. Each position has an independent incumbent facing a Republican challenger. In Ward A, incumbent Laurie Struther is up against Republican nominee Dave Goetzer. Ward B sees independent Terry Short Jr. vying to retain his seat against Republican Will Flory, while in the at-large race, incumbent Bobby Henderson is being challenged by Jeremy Sloat. The three Republican candidates received their nominations through Jim Wood, Waynesboro's vice mayor and chair of the city's Republican committee. Notably, Wood also nominated Lilly and Mayers to their positions on the electoral board, fueling questions about whether the lawsuit is part of a coordinated effort to contest election outcomes. In a year that already has heightened political tension, this situation is being closely watched. Waynesboro has found itself in the spotlight as legal observers, local residents and political analysts debate what impact, if any, these lawsuits could have on voter confidence and the city's democratic process. As the hearing approaches, the court's decision on whether to enforce certification or validate the board members' objections will have a lasting impact on Waynesboro's elections. The outcome could not only shape the results of this election, but also set a precedent for how local electoral boards handle certification disputes in Virginia in the future. To stay up to date on the latest election news, subscribe to Breaking Through News on the Newsbreak app or at breakingthrough.com.